I'm Paul Daddy from Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Today I'll talk about a great way to up your barbecue game. So it's the newest member of the Meat Stick lineup, the Meat Stick 4X. And yes, Meat Stick did send this to me for review, but if it didn't measure up, I'd have just sent it back. I'm excited to let you know that the Meat Stick 4X passed with flying colors, and it was also a pleasure to use. Here's what you get, a wireless stainless steel probe with a ceramic end, as well as the Meat Stick 4X charger, and that also serves as a range extender. Now, batteries are not included. And the probe has four temperature sensors. Now the maximum ambient temperature range is 572 degrees Fahrenheit or 300 degrees centigrade. The maximum internal temperature range is 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees centigrade. The maximum outdoor range is 650 feet or 200 meters and that's a long, long way for Bluetooth. Do you need more range as in unlimited range? Well, the Meat Stick 4X will work with the available Meat Stick Wi-Fi bridge. Now, you can convert to Wi-Fi at a very, very moderate price. The Meat Stick 4X will last 70 plus hours on full charge when the extender is activated. It's covered by a one-year limited warranty. And of course, the Meat Stick 4X has a free app that's available for iOS and Android systems. And you know, in today's barbecuing, a wireless thermometer is an essential tool for any barbecue pit master, especially for a beginner. I can only imagine how this would have got me up to speed back in the day when I cooked my very first brisket. Now, let me tell you something. Knowing the correct temperature in barbecue, it'll never, ever go out of style. My outdoor kitchen is behind my house. It's not attached to the house in any way. It's not even close. Now, I've tried several brands of wireless thermometers, and most of them work fine until you go into the house. And this is where the Meat Stick 4X excels. Just activate that range extender through the app, and that Bluetooth distance will be maxed out. So open the app, click on the menu icon, click on the extender, click on next, then press the charger button to switch that extender on and it'll give you a message that it's up and running when it connects. Okay, we're gonna to go to the menu and we're gonna select now cooking. Select set up cook. It's gonna change screens. And here you have different cooking options. It's got air fryer, grill, smoke, oven, stove, sous vide, and the deep fryer. Now I'm gonna select smoke and then select the meat type. I'll just select beef. Choose the type of beef. I'm gonna choose spare ribs. You can accept the target temperatures that are suggested for your cook, or you can set your own. Now you've also got the option of changing the alerts. Once you're satisfied, hit that save button and start your cook. Now these program cooks can be perfect, especially if you're a beginner. For those that are more independent, you can go straight to that quick start. You can set your own preferences for internal temperature and ambient temperature. You can adjust the alerts and then save. Your cook is then created. It even instructs you on inserting that probe. And it has to be inserted completely to protect all four of those sensors. And this part is important. Now, as you probably know, meat will shrink when it's being cooked. And sometimes it shrinks enough to expose some of the probe and the Meat Stick 4X will give you an alert if the probe is in danger of overheating. The solution is simple. Just go in there, reseat that probe into the meat simply by pushing it in all the way. Using the menu in the Meat Stick app, you can go back to past cooks and they can be selected to use their parameters that you had for your current cook. And you can also designate cooks as favorites by hitting that favorite button. Now, another real good piece of advice on using the Meat Stick 4X is to make sure that it's fully charged before using. So, place it in the charger, make sure that that metal cap on the ceramic end is seated. It's gotta be touching the contact on the charger. And then you press the power button and that green light will light up. And when it goes off, then your Meat Stick 4X should be charged. If you experience an issue with the Meat Stick 4X, I think your first response should go back and recharge it. Okay, another thing that I consider a best practice for the Meat Stick 4X is to clean that probe thoroughly after each use. And I recommend using the dishwasher after each use and that'll ensure that it's super duper clean. 
A dirty probe may not charge correctly because those metal contacts have to come in good contact with the metal probe. And I don't want to be that guy, so I keep my probe clean. Now the Meatstick 4X checks all the boxes, so it's a must have for pitmasters. Now if you're in the market for a wireless meat probe, then consider the Meatstick 4X. It's got a super Bluetooth range and you can easily upgrade to Wi-Fi. Now all you've got to do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>